Well, I guess I was a little negative this morning. My attitude <coughs> was very negative. And, uh, but there was for a very good reason. And, uh, I got to get this. I have a, a speed bump in my life right now. And, uh, I, I didn't expect this, uh, you know, this happens to anybody, okay? If you're living life and you're in this fucking planet, especially with all the bullshit that's going on, you're going to have speed bumps in your life too, all right? You won't admit it because you're a bunch of cocksuckers, but uh, <laughs> believe me, speed bumps are everywhere, and there's more of them today because our world is a piece of shit today with people <coughs> and at any time <coughs> I think I'm dying in any time in the history of our society but I don't I, I want to get into one thing speaking of that uh there was a big riot and uh and you know, I talk about, I mean, I take shots at unsocial media <clears throat> and everything, every shot that I've ever taken at unsocial media is now legit with this story. It was legit anyway, but if you hear this story, it's even more legit because you people are part of the problem. You're not part of the solution. You're part of the problem. You people hang around on social media <clears throat> and you think you're going to get famous or you think some people are going to acknowledge you or, you know, and you people are so stupid and wrong. It's not going to happen. And uh, case in point, this uh, black kid, okay, he's got 20 million why? He, he's obviously uneducated, stupid, and an idiot, okay? And he meets the basic requirements of, of uh, chocolatoism, where these uh, 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 people are the, the stupidest motherfuckers on the planet. But he's got 20 million, and I don't have anybody. No, I don't. He's one of those... Uh, they, they call him a, 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 a social media influencer. You want to know how, how his influence was? He caused a riot. They must have done uh, millions of dollars in damages to construction sites. These, these fucking uh, chocolato needs. Was a, a, how many of them were there? About a thousand <clears throat> uh, or more, a couple thousand, I guess. I don't know, thousand, couple. Of, and they quickly dissented on because this guy promised to give out gift cards and PlayStation 5s. And all these fucking ghetto kids, these low life criminal cocksuckers, and we know how the black kids behave very badly and they have no discipline at home they have no sense of purpose they're out there committing crimes violence gangs <clears throat> and they descended upon this park in the city called union square park and rioted through Rocks and bottles and graffiti, uh, I mean, uh, not graffiti, uh, garbage <clears throat> at the police officers who showed great restraint because the fact is they were juveniles. I don't give a fuck what they were. I would have gone in there with 2,000 cops uh, with tear gas and nightsticks and I would have cleared up that park in a matter of minutes. Because when you dare go to a public place like that and and turn the place upside down. I don't give a fuck what you are, especially <coughs> you know what these you know what these <coughs> chocolato kids are? 
They're not even fucking human beings. They're animals. They're fucking savages. <clears throat> Excuse me. I got this damn cough. <coughs> I'm going to see the doctor tomorrow. Um, they're not even fucking human beings. They're, they're, they're beyond that. They're the scum of the earth. And uh, I just love how the liberal press calls them kids behaving badly. Like, oh, uh, Chester, you're such a bad boy. You behave so badly. Like I said, 2,000 cops with swinging night sticks and tear gas make a fucking man out of those motherfuckers. Because you know what? If you want to act like a man... And rioting and violence is, you know, if you're a kid and you want to act like a man, <clears throat> well, guess what? You're not a kid anymore. You're to be treated as an adult. And you will be held liable for your actions. I mean, you don't play with these fucking punk chocolato motherfuckers. You don't play games with them. They don't play games with you. I heard too many stories of these fucking chocolato pieces of dog shit harassing people, robbing people, committing acts of criminal, uh, tons of criminal mischief and vandalism. Um, these are not human fucking beings. These are savages from Cook, from the Congo Republic is what they are. And they need to be put in their place. Stop playing with these fucking little punk weasel fucks. That's why we need someone like Donald Trump who believes in law and order. And if it's not Donald, then it's got to be somebody that believes in law and order. You know? And this is why New York City... <clears throat> Crime rate is through the roof at times, and there's no law and order because now you got the white people that live in New York City, and they're pussies. They come from Nebraska, different states. They come here to seek opportunity in whatever field, and 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 and, and a lot of them are named Josh. Somebody was called Josh. I, I def, you know, I don't know if I could fight real good, but if, if I went against a guy named Josh, I think I, I would be pretty confident in my odds, in my odds that I'd be able to kick that motherfucker's ass. <coughs> so Josh will be scared of me. He'll run the opposite way. <coughs> Damn, I got that phlegm. I can't get it out of my throat. Um. You know, the the, the, the the white people in New York City, they're like this. Uh, please don't hurt me. Please. Uh, my name is Josh. Uh. And the black kids, they know that the, the white, uh, those type of people are pussies. And you know, the black kids will fight anytime, anywhere. You know, they grew up on that type of violence. So they go after, you know, you know, whatever. They mug them, assault them, intimidate them. <clears throat> uh, even in a, an area like Midtown Manhattan, which is, you know, pre pretty influential. Uh, I've seen uh, roving gangs of these chocolatos, uh, especially in the subway, you know. Uh, that's why I'm saying law and order is almost non-existent in New York City. And, uh, you know, I mean, it takes a team effort which white people are not willing to partake, par par partake in in the city. It takes standing up to these fucking criminal hoodlum motherfuckers and it also takes a police presence. And uh, that's how you're going to solve the, the, the hoodlum problem in, in New York. <clears throat>